little shorty. We dipped out. Yeah, the ruts were a bit too uh, deep for the shorty with only 31 inch tires and pretty much no other modifications except uh, a dual locked. John John, as usual, makes easy work uh, of the first step. The important part here is really to drive it in one go and have the right uh, momentum. Leaving all the rubbish again, the people. Unfortunately, wherever we go, we always uh, collect quite a bit of rubbish. It would be great if, if people just could take their stuff with them. Next turn it was Dave's in the TJ. He took the bottom line and yeah, just cleared the rock there. That can be a little bit iffy. Yeah, that big step in a shorty is certainly interesting, but again, uh, Dave drove it easily. Next it was my turn in Tiny. Uh, last time at the beginning of Whiteman's I broke that already stressed uh, stub axle so I was keen to actually driving everything again. Time just fits through the two trees there though. It's getting pretty close. Yeah. Important with this step is really to line the car up properly gently ease your front up and as soon as the front is up and drive it all in one go in a constant forward momentum. Rob in the 40 also took uh, the right hand lane approaching the step. There is uh, quite an off camber section with the big rock which you can see <coughs> so it can be sometimes tricky to Let's negotiate uh, that rock Sebastian and John John giving Rob a little bit of assistance here to keep him away from uh, that rock some of the engine uh, wouldn't start, so he just keeps cranking it over and using the uh, starter motor pretty much to get him forward. We assumed that the shorty would have issues climbing up there uh, because small tires, not much lift. So even though shorty, the ramp over angle is uh, fairly um, low. Rob just had his winch cable shortened and the hook uh, newly swagged on. So that swag pretty much uh, gave way. So the only thing what is recoiling here is the actual winch cable. And you see with the dampener it still uh, has quite a bit of recoil. It shows again how important it is to do safe recoveries. Uh, make sure that you uh, well away from the recovery and always use at least one winch dampener. As I was in front of Rob, I turned around tiny and we winched uh, Rob up with a double line pull with the tiny. In comparison to the steel cable on Rob's winch, I used an EMA rope, which hardly stores any kinetic energy and pretty much just drops to the ground if it fails. Yeah, beautiful, mate. Yeah. Way to go. Hang on, Go, flat out. Go. Next, it was Sebastian's turn, who now has 82% uh, crawler gears, which work quite well together with his auto.
Carl with the mighty Jeep also made quick work of uh, the first step here on Whiteman's. <laughs> Given that Whiteman's is one of the harder tracks uh, in the Vodigans and the shorty is pretty much uh, stock except that it's double locked um, Rob did exceptionally well actually driving it unassisted except that first step Because otherwise you I was meant to say you otherwise drive into your leaf springs again. With a 40, it is really vital for Rob uh, to have good wheel placement and uh, keep the wheels on the high spots. Fortunately, Rob is for wheel driving for many many years and uh, is a pretty damn good driver. Beautiful, easy. and crossbone skull and crossbone is a formidable drive especially down as usual it is much much steeper than it looks on video mind you you could um, yeah if you do something wrong there it's it's a very long way down so even with many well experienced drivers we still jump out and um, have a look at the track and discuss the different lines for the different vehicles On steep descents like this it is important that if you have a manual first gear low range, if you have an auto, lock it into first gear and just feather the brakes. Uh, John demonstrates uh, quite expertly here how you want to keep the wheels rolling and don't really um, yeah, do a hard brake which then uh, could make you lose control of your steering and slide down. So constant forward momentum, um, but with feathering the brakes and not locking up the wheels. If you look uh, upwards the hill, um, John John took the left-hand lane, and Dave is now taking the right-hand lane, which has a bit uh, bigger steps in it and a few diff hangers. Sebastian is also taking the left line 
However, he has a slightly different approach than John John, and you see his rear wheel coming up here. Now it is important to steer right hand down and straighten the car back up and right, avoid right any hand side down, angles. Right hand down. Yeah, that's it. Now that'll push you away from it. There you go. Now you can straighten out. Are you, do you have your rear locker in? No. Put your rear locker in. in now. Yeah, that'll give you more stability as you come down. Yep, are you in low one? Lock it in. If you start to slide, let it roll. Right hand down a little and point yourself directly down. This is a good example what can happen if you brake too hard and really stop all forward momentum. Uh, especially on a steep hill like this. That was obviously quite gentle but you see the rear wheel uh, coming up because of the stop. That's why it's important to keep a constant slow forward momentum without locking the brakes. Straighten. Oh, he's going a different way. Portals. Okay, straighten, straighten them out. Right These steep down. descents are even scarier in a shorty because the short wheel base uh, tends far easier to lift up the wheel at the rear, which we can see here again where the driver's rear wheel uh, briefly comes off the ground. Rob uses here a technique where he pretty much does not touch the clutch in his manual car. He applies the brake as needed and if the car comes to a stop he stalls it, that's no issue. He uses a, a hill start where he pretty much keeps the car in gear and cranks over the starter to restart the car and uh, keep control. Who's <coughs> spotting him? You're spotting him! What, me? Hold on to this then. I'm, I'm not a good spotter. Who wants to spot him then? Alright. Let's yeah, just come to you. are doing well. <laughs> well, what else can I say? He's doing well. Drop. Just keep coming nice and, nice and slowly. You're okay, Carl. You're okay. Well, that looks a bit interesting. Looks bigger in real life than on the video. John John is giving the most difficult line to go here. The first attempt here is in first gear low range. Yeah, I was wondering where that works. Yeah, it nearly works. In his second attempt, John John uh, used second gear low. For an unknown reason, the car jumped out of gear and started rolling backwards. You see in an instance, John switching over from accelerator to the brakes and gently applying the brake and bringing the car back under control. That was a brilliant recovery from John John, which otherwise could have ended uh, yeah, a bit shitty because it's a long way down there. Did it fall off? The back wheel. How far to the edge? Ah, too late, too late now. Sorry, it's all good. It's all right? 
Yeah. Just don't go back. Don't go back. Forward, not back. I just say, winch it. Not going to winch it. I'll, I'll just say, look. Slowly, John. You can't see the other side. Wind's behind, he's going to spot you at the back. No, no. Oh, oh stop, 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 Go forward then reverse in this time if you can. Go a little bit uh, right hand down, then reverse back. Right. You want to go forward you a bit? Go further back? Yeah, I just want to get back. Yes. I just want to go right up. Yeah. I just don't want to drop off the edge. No, you drop it, but it's hard. It's a little ditch. Be careful your front wheel, huh? Left hand. Right hand, yeah, left hand down, yep. That's it. Seriously injured? No, I just want to put something on that so I don't get to get it infected. Oh, on my graze. Show me. Come on, show your your wounds here. Oh, I don't want to show my wounds. Come Let's on. Let's do a picture of the glove. Of the wounds. No, a picture of the glove. You can do a picture wounds. of the first aid. Yeah, okay. That's right. Is, I've, 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 yeah. is that sterile? I've got a sterile wipe. Thanks. No, so I'll use that for my hand later. Thank, thank you very can much. Can we see it? Well, let me just uh, while I'm treating, while the professional treatments in in place. Oh. 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 Bloody hell! What a oh. bugger! What a bugger! I was just sliding and down the rock. And the white tennis shoes got a little dirty. You know why? I forgot. I meant to stop there, down there to help Rob get up. I thought, crumbs, if he can't get up that bit of the hill, I've driven all the way up. What so I was mean? running down to make sure he was going to get up stupidly. Oh, that's, that's as good. I was yours. Is, is it, it Rob's fault? Is it's it my fault? No, no, no. It's my fault again. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just saying, you asked. I realised I should have stopped down the bottom to help him tie him up in case he didn't make it. So Sebastian is very excited that his first aid kit gets some use. How do you use this thing? No, what I need to do... Yeah, you should put a gaze on it first. This is the stuff. Wound dressing it's right. called. Robert. You alright? Can you help him here a bit? Yeah, can you just maybe hold that down there? Got the cleaner, just hold that like that. Yeah. Thank you, and I'll wrap it round. Uh, yeah, I bloody fell over. The shoes are not good. Oh, What's happening there? Why is it? No, this... You are. Let me go. Well, well now we have three of them. It's, it's a, oh, this is wrong. It's a gorse. Do the right Sorry. bloody one. Don't know, use it. It's you, a you know what that is for. Just put the whole pad goes on there. You know what that is for, Sebastian? 
if your so your blood is squirting out, you know? Yeah, well, I've only got a compression well, bandage. I've, I've, I've sterilized. If I do this now, it probably won't get infected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to die. Except that Rob all dropped it on the floor. I didn't drop it on the floor. It didn't get there. Anyway, the Sarah bits. So what this? Is this all going in your bloody video? Yes. Make I'm sure right. you photograph. Rob, Rob, I want you to put on your little matching. Rob's copied me again. He's got matching glove holders. Oh, I had mine for you. Matching. No. Ah. You all right, Sebastian? Yeah. Are you okay? Well, it was a bit Fe feeling a bit no, queasy. No, it's a bit, it Robert, a bit... I love your handiwork. I... I don't care. He's doing well, a great job. Don't knock you, it. Would you like to do it? Take over. I'll no, hold, no, no, no. I'm, I'm filming. Oh, oh, Stephen, no, you might laugh. But <laughs> I'm seriously, filming. Seriously, it's only the thing with the gaze is it's really important. <laughs> it's really important that you actually treat it and cover it, and that way you don't oh, get infected. Imagine yeah. when you're on a, on a remote trip. Yes. This is where you put this yeah, into practice. We, we have pretty I've, got, I've got scissors. I've got scissors. I've got scissors. I'm going to cut it. Yeah. Yeah, you, well, you have as work. many crinkles in as possible. Have you never had a first aid course in the mines, Robert? Shut up, shut up. <laughs> my kids are going to see. No, they don't. Fortunately, they don't watch it. Neither does my wife. Oh, there you go. I've got all the stuff. It could have been a snake bite. It could have been much worse. beautiful view from up here. Now we are at the second set of steps which can be a bit more tricky because one uh, step or the second step here is very angled and it can be a bit difficult to get traction there. Beautiful. This is where it can be a bit tricky, but uh, John John made easy work of it. That's actually beautifully controlled driving. Next one in line is Dave. Again, he shows some very controlled driving. You don't see any wheel spin and just the right momentum pretty much to crawl up there. When in his 100 uh, series chooses a slightly different line, he also has a bit higher tire pressure than the rest of the group. Just taking a wind cable off from down there because on the rocks it was going to get scraped. Yeah. Whatever you do, commit. No, no, no. No, commit. Build. Yes. Control driving by Sebastian here. It seems like that crawler gears work very well for him. Next, it was my turn in Tiny. 
This also is a new track for me, I've never driven before. I saw plenty of videos, but yeah, I was very keen actually driving it today. The step with the uh, off camber angle really explored uh, Rob's uh, side angles. That was that was nice. Rob, I just e said front up and one said front is nearly I mean you know one go. Go! Go! Stay! Stay! That's fucking awesome! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back. Don't, get caught on, don't get caught on the wheel, alright? Sure? Go back! Go back. Yes, gentle! You would have made it for the diff! Right, the diff hooked up. Yeah. Can I go forward or backwards? Oh, backwards! <laughs> Rob had some wire clamps in his toolbox, so he reattached the winch hook with three wire clamps and is now winching with that. He's currently winching with a single line pull, but now unfortunately the whole winch cable snapped. So we have a double line winch pull set up before Rob nearly rolled the truck there. So yeah, we hope it's not going to happen again, I guess. Then his winch cable snapped. Beautiful! Last but not least, it was Carl's turn in the Mighty JK. Easy. 